first of all, I want to start by saying uh, how much I love the movie. Um, I was you. fortunate enough to see it at Sundance, and it was one of my favorites, and I'm so happy it's getting a wide release uh, mm. in just a few weeks. And Thank I'm you. out. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right? you. Um, Short and sweet and right. kind. Um, no, but I, I actually am curious. It, uh for the two of you, talk a little bit about when you first met each other and those, and like that initial conversation of, because I know you're a huge fan and I know you must be a fan, but what is it like the night before you're gonna meet or talk? Are you in your head a little bit like, man, I hope she likes me? What a great question. Well, mm -hmm. I was coming from set and I said, Emma Thompson's in Los Angeles. She almost never does this. She's going to a fancy dinner and before that, she's a fancy drinks. You're not invited to that, but there's a window before the drinks where she's at the hotel and she'll just kind of be leaving. And if you can catch her in the hotel, you can have a conversation with her, is what that I said. That makes me feel like such an ass. No, it's anyway, very but there busy. you go, it's my job. But, but you, you pack your trips. Yeah, yeah. So you can't meet with some strange Indian woman who wants to meet you just because she says she's a fan. So I raced from set. We were shooting the Mindy Project. I raced from set. And I had an outlandish outfit on because I just wore the costume, not knowing what Emma's deal was. And she, I was like, she might care that I wear fancy clothes. She did, is not that kind of person. But with, and I met her in the lobby of a hotel, and we we had a drink, a quick drink before other drinks. And I was so excited. I told everybody in the cast and crew that I was meeting her, and I had this great feeling of them sending me off, being like, "Good luck." I never told you that, but I told no. everyone. No, that's I told so BJ and everything. Yeah. And had then, I worked with BJ thought, by then? You had. I was so jealous. Because she did Banks. Saving Mr. Banks with BJ. Yeah. And she, he would tell me stories about her, and then she and Tom Hanks were such good friends, and everyone had such a great rapport. And I was like, I don't want to hear this anymore. <laughs> I'm too jealous. And so I finally, I finally got to meet her. And I was a big weirdo, You I had quite an outfit on. I do remember you do that. You remember. It and was, I did think you were a little bit weird. Because it was so... It was just, you were a bit... Yeah, I thought... Also, I just didn't expect me myself in any way to be relevant to somebody like Mindy. Do you understand mm -hmm. that I could feel that? But I so, so I was just very surprised by it all. And then when she said, "I've written something for you," I didn't know what to do with my face. Um, but of course, I then I I I, I said, well, "I'd love to read it." And thank you so much. What else? I mean, it was just extraordinary. It was a short time. I remember I had yes. to go off to do something. And you were, you were very busy also because you were actually working. And I read it, and 48 hours later I said to my agent, this script is one of the best things I've read in years. We have to make it happen. That, first of all, it's a great story. But second of all, I'm so happy that this meeting took place. Um, I, so you're obviously a very talented writer. You're a very talented writer. Talk a little bit about, so you get the script, how much is it exactly what you got that day? How much are you sort of collaborating a little bit because mm -hmm. you're both such great writers? Well, I was so welcoming of notes from Emma. I mean, the character was written for her, and she had to be able to perform it. But also notes on other characters. I mean, she's written so many screenplays, so many award-winning screenplays that I felt lucky. You don't often get to turn a script into someone whom you really admire. Normally, you're giving getting notes from people that you think are dumb. <laughs> and so to be able to get notes from Emma on the script was uh, really lucky. I can't remember giving you notes on the script. I mean, I know we did talk about it and it did change in some ways, didn't mm -hmm. it? Between the moment we met and then three years later when we actually got to shoot it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I just remember it being brilliant and just right from the get go. But I'm um, it, 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 things always change. Screenplays always change. Mm -hmm. And I haven't written loads of award-winning screenplays. I have written lots of screenplays, some of which haven't been made and one of which won an award. That's just to be, you know, to, just to be accurate. You, you do have a new movie coming out at Christmas, though, which That's you true. did write. And you do have a talented director doing that. With Bryony Kimmings, who's a wonderful performance artist as well, who did our first draft, and Paul Feig, yeah. Just throwing that out there. One of the things I really love about the script is that it deals with a lot of things going on today uh, without it ever feeling preachy. Oh, good. Uh, and, Thank you. And that's something that I really admired. So can you sort of talk about that aspect, that being able to weave in all these culturally relevant things without batting you over the head? I think that comes... Thank you for saying that. What a, that's really a nice compliment, and that's really what we're going for with the film, is to create a really funny movie that's relatable and that maybe you'll take away some themes or ideas from it that make you look at the world a little differently. The, thank you. I, I think that the reason it comes across that way is that no one is acting out of character. Everyone is acting in character. Mm -hmm. No one is, it's not a documentary. 
you know, it's we're not trying to preach. It's just the real details of what it is like to come up in a business when you are another. And there's some parts of it that are painful and there's some parts of it that are really funny, but it all has to be real. And you don't get to see those stories that often. And I, I've been saying this too, but the fact that Emma and I are both the leads of the movie is in and of itself kind of this political strange statement because we're not, you don't see two women in a movie as leads in a comedy movie where we're not, you know, fighting over the same man. Or, you know, it's so. That would it's, be unlikely, yeah. actually, it might, I mean, given the fact that I'm old. But anyway. Um, and we fancy quite different types, I think. I don't know. Uh, Greg Wise is pretty quite. handsome. Mm, actually, that's true. But um, anyway, yeah. Also, I think it's important to say that it, the reason these sort of issues appear to be kind of, because many people have said this, but it's actually just because that's our experience. That's normal experience for women, you know, the, the, the authenticity of it means that watching Molly in that situation, watching Catherine in that, that's normal. So it, that's what happens in everyday life. It's not, for, so for us, if you like, it's not issues. It, it, they're, 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 they're not sort of political points. They're just what life is. Do you know what I mean? So it's the authenticity of it that means that you can have access to those thoughts. Do you, do you know what I mean? A hundred percent. You guys had the challenge of, of trying to pull this off in 25 days, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, what the hell was that like? And which I'm never doing it again. Never. <laughs> I was going to say what what talk about that. Twenty five days to pull this off, and yeah. which sequences were you like, oh my god, this is never happening? Yeah, I mean, you look at the font of the movie. It doesn't appear to be an indie movie, but it was. It was an indie movie. We shot it for almost no money, and in twenty five days. And this is a movie that the script is not like a you know quintessential indie script. There's mm -hmm. a lot of characters. It takes place in New York City. Mm. You have to see a fake late night talk show set that has to look amazing. It's a mainstream Lots movie. Lots of extras. Yeah. You know, those are not things that you normally see in an indie movie. So it was extremely difficult. The hours are very long. We the shot. The crew were heroic. Yes, the crew was incredible, and so it's. It meant a lot to get actors in the movie like Amy Ryan, John Lithgow, Reed Scott, John Early, those type of actors to do this movie for no money mm. uh, just because they liked the world and wanted to be part of the project. And they were so great. They brought so much. And everybody brought so much to it. It was created in a white heat and in a way it was our passion, all our collected passions for the script that made it possible to do that. You couldn't have done the hours that we did you know, in that way, if you hadn't really just loved it so much and wanted, I, I mean, I was so excited to get to work every day, every day to just, even if I was on my knees and knackered, I just, I can't wait to say that line. I can't wait. Uh, ultimately, I'm, I'm, I like talking about the editing process because that's the final rewrite. Yes. So I'm very curious how the film came together and the how the film came together in the editing room, maybe how it changed what you learned from early screenings. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we were lucky enough to have Dave Rogers, who's an Emmy Award winning editor from The Office, come and work on the movie. And he just um, had a one, you know, we didn't have a ton of takes no. for everything. No. But he's really used to those big group scenes, you know, in the, mm. the writer's room in the, in the movie is not dissimilar than the those big conference room scenes in the office where you have to, you know, and that's a, you really have to build those things, you know, a joke, a reaction and where the, where the laugh is. And so it was really wonderful uh, seeing, seeing his work on that and to go in and steal extra jokes, write ADR lines to get, you know, extra jokes here and there. And um, yeah, it was, it, it, editing and comedy is both, is so challenging, but it is so rewarding as well. I definitely have to ask you, have you noticed a newfound popularity, if you will, on The Office since it's been on streaming? Definitely. I feel that the, the, the people who most come out to me about The Office are 15-year-olds who couldn't have watched the show when it first came on. So it's I think it's really big with young people now. I, I think so as well. Which is nice. Yeah, this whole Netflix thing and, and Amazon, yes. uh, both very popular. Yes. Um, before I run out of time, I'm on my last question. If you could tease a little bit, I'm really looking forward to Last Christmas. I saw some footage at CinemaCon, and it looks great. And also, I'm really looking forward to, uh, I believe it's Four Weddings and a Funeral. Like, sure. Are, yes. Um, Tease. Yeah. Oh, um, well, you know, it's a Christmas dramatic comedy <laughs> with romance in it. Dramatic romantic comedy. 
Everything, oh. everything at Christmas time. At Christmas that you time. Would want. And, and unreleased George Michael. There's a lot of an unreleased George Michael. Oh, based wow. on George Michael's song Last Christmas and a lot of fairy lights. If you like fairy lights, you're not going to be disappointed in this <laughs> film. Sure. Mm. And for weddings, well, it's we took a movie that is perfect and needs no more sequelizing or anything. And it was a um, it's a mini series with a cast that looks like a cast I would really want to see, British Pakistani man and an African American girl meeting each other in London. But the themes of the Richard Curtis's amazing movie are are present in the miniseries, and I think it's great. It's coming out in a month. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Seriously, Thank you. congrats on the movie. Thanks. Thank so. you. Thank you. Bye.